Alabama, we have a Rigs to Reef program where we worked with the oil companies and the gas companies to take some of their decommissioned rigs from offshore and sink those in place and make artificial reefs. The rigs are already in place and on the legs that are underwater, they already have the coral and the growth and it already has attracted fish communities and uh, produced fish you know, while it's been in production. And so we don't want to lose that artificial reef habitat by when they take those out and scrap them. And so it's great to be able to work with the companies to reef those in place, to continue to produce fish on those great places that we call islands in the Gulf. The first platform to be reefed under the formal Rigs to Reef program in Alabama is VK385, which is located approximately 40 miles south of Dolphin Island. VK385 sits in about 140 feet of water and the jacket was cut at approximately 60 feet below the surface and then the top section of the jacket was laid immediately adjacent to the base. The oil companies save money when they're able to reef those in place. So as part of the agreement that we have with them to build these artificial reefs and to reef the rigs, they give a portion of the money that they save to the state and we can use that in our other artificial reef work. So really it's a win-win for the companies, for the state, and more importantly for the fishermen and the resource. We've had some informal agreements with the oil companies in the past and have sunk rigs and made reefs out of them, but this is a, a new endeavor for us where we have these formal agreements. It's been very well received by the oil and gas companies. It's more than just cutting it off and dropping it to the bottom. The upper section where the pipes and the valves have been uh, in place, most of those are removed, and then the rest of the rig is cleaned so that you're not placing anything that's oily or you know, gas or have all the chemicals in the water. So they do a good job of cleaning the structure that's above the water before they reef it. This program we see it continuing for many years. There are many rigs that are required by the, the federal government that when they finish production on those rigs, they have to be removed within a certain amount of time. So as these oil companies try and comply with federal requirements, we see many opportunities to continue to grow this program. We already have the best artificial reef program in the country here in Alabama. And creating this new Rigs to Reef program, it just expands that and uh, builds on what we've already been able to do here in the state. One thing that's interesting about these reefs is they're huge. You know, we've built pyramids and military tanks, but when you look at the actual size of the rigs that we're, that we're reefing in place and the habitat that that brings and the type of fish that uh, it produces compared to some of the smaller reefs, you know, it really has an opportunity to continue to have an impact on our fishery off the coast of Alabama. As we diversify our program, it's really good to be able to have a large structures like that that can use multiple species. As we continue to have limited seasons for red snapper, it's good for us to have reefs in our program that kind of that attract other fish and produce other fish as well. The Rigs Reef program, we do have to have a certain amount of coordination between the oil companies, the Corps of Engineers, you know, the Marine Resources Division. It takes a lot of work to, to get these in place. It's a a little more work than our usual artificial reefs, but the dividends are worth the extra effort. You know, you can find information about the Rigs to Reef program and all of our artificial reefs on the Outdoor Alabama website, outdooralabama.com, under saltwater fishing and then under artificial reefs. <laughs>